Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're going to be creating this beautiful springtime look to me, is what that's screaming. It's just screaming springtime. And I'm trying out a new mascara. Not a new formula, but a different, it's brown basically. It's brown mascara because, you know, I have been loving, loving my um, Too Faced, uh, the better than chocolate that color of it, whatever it is, Better Than Sex, that's what it was. Is that what it's called? Lord have mercy. Yes, Better Than Sex mascara, but in the chocolate one, the chocolate color. I have been loving that. Now, I don't like it in the black. I don't, but I do like it in the brown. But somebody I, I was watching, I don't know what it was. Um, I have the pillow talk in Dream Pop, but I don't consider that like a brown it kind of is, but it's not really. You know what I mean? It's more of a burgundy brown. But this one is by YSL. And it's considered brown. Or that's what's called brown. But this one to me is... You can definitely tell the difference between this and the black. For sure. Because like when I wear the black, it's a huge difference. But I don't really think this is brown either. Do you think it looks brown? Because it don't look brown to me. Not like the better than chocolate one. Like, you can tell that that is a brown. You know what I mean? And even the Dream Pop, you can tell that that is a burgundy. This one, it just don't look brown. It's much more... It's definitely not as dark as the black. I would almost think this is maybe like a brown black. Like that color and not brown. I don't know. Like, in the tube, it looks brown. Like, in the actual tube. Like, can you see the brown on it? It does look brown. But, it's not the way it applies. At least, I don't think so. Just my opinion on it. But I do like it, nonetheless. It does make it less... It's definitely not as black as the YSL Lash Clash, let me tell you, okay? That is like my favorite. I've got two tubes of it, okay? One tube, two tubes down here. Here's the other one. So I definitely love that one. It came in a two-pack for certain, I don't know, around Christmas. But anyway, we're going to guess this eyeshadow palette. And I really thought, like, when I look at eyeshadow looks and I look at the lid of an eyeshadow look, like if somebody puts up, a metallic shade on it I can generally let's get started almost tell like especially like certain palettes like the Pat McGrath when they put that the uh, what, what mothership five and it's that like red orangish color like you can spot that a mile away like you know that's a Pat McGrath right and I feel like that with a lot of palettes that I'm putting on it's like okay that's definitely now certain ones sure I guess they could be you know because they're so close but then you'd have to use the rest of the eye look but I don't know I just feel like the metallic shades what gives it away so the first shade we're going to go into is like a pinky pinky purple shade carnation maybe would be a good thing I really didn't use that many colors in this look and that's the cool part because if I feel like it looks like there's so much more because of this metallic shade and really there's not and I was going to use the black just because I know the black would really make that eye pop with that metallic shade but at the same time I really just wanted to like see what it looked like toned down because I've kind of done this look before I don't know necessarily if I filmed it I don't think I did I think I, when I used this palette before I used a different look but like I know kind of what this palette looks like with a black mascara you know what I mean so what hints can I give for this palette Hmm. Don't know. Packaging's nice. Packaging's beautiful on this palette, actually. Not only is it like 
it's stunning packaging but it is so sturdy it's in plastic so it's very sturdy it's good to travel with it would be really good and it'd give you lots of options so that's the first shade we're going to lay down we'll go back into it though in a minute I'm sure always do I'm using my refer brushes which I adore You know though sometimes I wish I didn't have hooded eyes because sometimes like when I'm looking at somebody sometimes they're not some days they're more hooded than other days I don't know why I'm sure it has something to do with the skincare <laughs> or when I use my Gasha stone or Keisha whatever it is that stone thingy I do it or it could be the the bald things those cool bulbs or it could be the new face. But anywho, some days my eyelids look more hooded than other days. It could be swelling too, but anyway. But like, never, sometimes you really can't even see the lid of my eye. And I hate that so much because like, the lid is always so pretty. Always. Alright, the next shade we're going to go a little bit darker. We're going to go with this color here. So we got, okay, next clue, we got 18 shades. Okay, we may have put too much. Okay, we're going to darken up this outer portion here. shades, nice packaging, and sturdy packaging. Somehow, my television just kicked onto something. I hope it does not do something crazy. Watch it start playing in the middle of this, my TV. Like, that would be my luck. The other day, oh lord, I swear, I, sometimes I feel like I need help. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all have phones, right? But, well, I'm assuming you have phones, but I don't know if you have iPhones. But, like, you know how you can, like, connect your iPhone to your TV, certain TVs, right? And how sometimes it'll have, like, if you go to look, like, I'll play my music off of my TV or something. But if you look, it'll have, like, um bedroom, office, stuff like that. Why well, I had hit bedroom thinking my bedroom, my bedroom, you know, because I'm sitting here doing my makeup. Nope. That is not the bedroom it connected to. By no means. It was my daughter. And I was like, and here's the crazy part. Okay, in here, if you have the air conditioner going, in the fan you can't hear nothing I'll be honest like those things just overcome everything right you can't hear nothing at all so with that said I even though her bedroom is literally across the hall I could not hear it playing in there right when I first I'm gonna take that darker shade I just used and run it along the lower lash line so, I couldn't hear it. Then, I was sitting here, I was like, well, you know, it wasn't doing anything to my TV. So, I just assumed it just wasn't going to connect. Because sometimes it does that, you know. So, I just was like, okay, whatever. Well, as 
I was like trying to, you know, stop it from doing that and take it back to my phone. I vaguely heard the song and I thought, who is playing the song that, you know, I wanted to listen to? Like it, it didn't make sense because, you know, my music's not the same that my kids listen to. For sure. So, I had gotten up to see and then I realized what I had done. Mind you, my daughter doesn't even tell me. She's just in there letting it happen. She's like, I didn't know, Mom. I just thought you wanted to play it in here for some reason. Why? Why would I want that done? I was like, no, dear. I don't want to play it in here. I was wanting it played in my bedroom, but thanks for not caring, I guess. Alright, anyway, that was a long-winded story, I think. I need to darken up that outer corner just a tad bit more. These shadows are so nice. And honestly, I've not had a problem with this brand's formula ever. Like, out of the palettes that, well, when it starts to get funky, I do, though. This brand comes out with some funky stuff. I will give it that. But generally, I don't have any issues with it. I seem to be get lucky and buy the palettes that are, are good in most people's eyes. But sometimes this brand can be hit or miss, except with the 18 pan eyeshadow palettes. That's not 18. Yeah, it is. It's 18. What am I thinking? Can't add all of a sudden. Good enough. Now we're going to take this beautiful, beautiful shade. Now you would want to spray this shade for the most part, to be honest with you. Let me put it on my hand. Because it is kind of a flaky shade. But look how pretty that is. Oh, gosh. That just looks like liquid to me. I mean, it's just so pretty. Very glittery, though. Um, I would suggest spraying it. I am not, because I, I just don't spray stuff. But I will tap it on. I did get a little bit of fallout on the other eye. But generally, by tapping, I don't get too much. Now, if I start messing with it, I will. But I'm not going to do that. So, we're just going to tap it on and move it on. Because if I tap it within a minute or so, I mean, it takes a second, it generally will like melt in with my skin, which some formulas will do that, some don't, but some do, and this is one that does, but I am very careful with it. Be this shade, now the rest of the shades I'm not, there's only a couple in here that are flaky like that, like two maybe three two or three shades that are kind of flaky like that but for the most part they're not all right and then for inner corner we're going to use this color here you can see it there we go that pinky i mean look at the just those two alone like is worth this palette's just and it, it I will say this palette is very not I've not heard of anybody that didn't like this palette just saying from this brand so that could be another clue for you and usually you'll hear somebody say something but this palette was a lot of people's favorite palette from this brand, let alone 
you know, almost everybody did enjoy it until a, a recent launch. This was their favorite palette. But it's definitely one of mine because it's so versatile and the looks that you can get. Like, you're going, to me, this palette screams spring and summer. I'm going to use this shade here as a liner because this technically, this shade right here, that's the darkest shade in the whole palette, okay? The rest of the shades are very light, colorful, some are colorful, some are muted, but they're, as far as depth goes, the darkest is going to be that shade right there and then this shade right here you can build up. And then this shade, of course, is dark. It's a purple and it's, it's pretty. But we're going to use it to line the eye with today. But that glitter shade, it is so pretty. Like, that shade I put on my lid, like, that's, that's probably the prettiest shade in the palette. There's a couple that I really like, but I would probably say that this is the prettiest one. But there's quite a few lid shades in here that are very pretty. Put that on the lower lash line as well right up on it and then I'll blend it out with the previous color I used on the lower lash line been now see this is a palette though that I will say I can't like there is a duplicate of this palette like somebody purposely recreated this palette but like in general like I don't have a duplicate of this palette this I can't re replicate out of using other palettes you know what I mean somebody did create a dupe using it but Sometimes I just don't think that's right because that's somebody's idea, hard work. It's one thing when you're like close. It's another when you're actually, you know, duping, like really taking their idea and, and running with it when it's not your own idea, you know, but at the same time, I kind of get it. Price, it, it's, it can be, you know, pricey. This isn't, you know, the most expensive palette by no means, but it is pricey. It, it's probably, you would say, like mid-range. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Brown Eyeliner for the waterline. I think 
I got both eyes the same. We'll hope. That's all I can do is we'll hope. All right. Let's curl the lashes. I only want to use a mirror, huh? Alright, let's see here. There we go. I'm using my Surat eyelash curler. Alright, now let's use the YSL brown. I just, I think that so far though, the better than chocolate is definitely more brown. I don't feel like this is, it's not black for sure, but it's not really giving me brown either. Even though, on the wand and in the tube, it looks black. I won't lie. Or brown. It looks real brown. But on the lashes, it does pull like a brown black. Which there's nothing wrong with that, mind you. It's just... I'm looking for that per perfect brown. But, on the other hand, I do love this formula. And even though it's not as brown as I wanted, it is a much softer look at the end of the day. So, I'm kind of struggling, like, is it the softer look I'm after? Or is it the color brown I'm after? Because if it's the softer look, this would give it to me. If it's the color, Too Faced is giving me that one. Somebody's calling. I think it's for my daughter. And she's asleep already. She has been, in the last two days, just exhausted from school I think everybody's getting to the point where it's like summer be here they want out they want to play go on vacation what not alright so that's the the look, I put this on my bottom lashes. I don't think... I don't think I've ever gotten transfer with Lash Clash, so I'm hoping I don't. Because I put it on the bottom, but I guess we'll find out. But, like, overall, it's not really about the mascara anyway. It is about the eyeshadow palette. But it is an amazing eyeshadow palette, you all. Look at that. I mean, look at those lids. Can you... Mm, this is what I'm talking about. When I, when I, when I do my makeup, it ain't going to be perfect by no means, and I don't think it is. But when I'm doing it, like, I want something like this on my lids at all times. All times. Because it's just so pretty to me. And when I walk past the mirror and I see it, I'm like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth, though. As silly as it sounds, it's the truth. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, pretty. You know? Sparkly. Like, shimmery. Like, the whole everything. All the S's. And honestly, I think this look with the color story is kind of sexy. I mean, Maybe not on my skin tone, but in general, the color story itself. It, it's very sexy. Especially, like, 
when I'm looking at like the brand recreate photo or like use their palette on themselves or on others they look really pretty you know and stuff so and that lid is just beautiful absolutely stunning but anyway can you guess the palette these are the shades that I used out of the palette if it helps at all it could it is in plastic packaging sturdy it has 18 shades it has a mixture of mattes metallics and these like glitter flaky shades and it is a well loved palette by many it's actually out of the it's well loved as in it's their favorite palette from the brand if you watch reviews and stuff on stuff but if you can guess the palette maybe that'll help you know or if you're right around it maybe it'll help other people talk about it but I think is that coming off no what is that Oh my, I didn't know that was on there. Wow. That's interesting. I never even took that off the front of it. Oh, that's much better. Oh, now the packaging is really... Wow, that looks nice now. It's got a nice mirror in it. So, it has nine buttery matte, six high shine creamy metallics, one glitter powder, and two sheer multi-reflective shadows is how they describe this palette so if that helps at all but guess it leave it down in the comments the first person to guess it will win an eyeshadow palette nobody's won yet I really thought that somebody would win one of these just from the lid alone but also I'm not having a lot of people guess but I am curious like do you really are you not knowing and just or you just don't you don't want to play or what I don't know I'm just curious but anyway I will let you go this video is long enough I hope this video helped in some way if you do guess the palettes I guess I do need to maybe put after 24 hours like what the palette was but then I'm like but I may want to do it again I don't know but then if you want to recreate this look, you might want the palette if you don't already have it. Or maybe this does want to, you know, inspire you to get the palette. So I'm not for sure yet how I'm doing that. But if you can guess it, leave it down in the comments. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Um, oh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that. You're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday. And of course, if, you know, you enjoy to listen to somebody ramble on and on. I'm, I'm that. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.